COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Now, Governor Ned Lamont just tweeted a few minutes ago that all public schools statewide will shut down starting Tuesday. There are now more than one million confirmed cases of the virus here in the U.S. Women and men of the class of 2020, good morning and welcome. You have come from everywhere, and until yesterday, most of you were strangers to one another. But you are Yaleys now. You are now part of a tradition that reaches back over three centuries. Given that we are in the final months of a tendentious presidential campaign, I'm really rich. And given the local, national, and global events that are testing us to our core, I feel it important to talk about your responsibilities as citizens of this community. President Peter Salovey announced the names of the two new residential colleges, names that he said were chosen from a pool of other candidates over a multi-year decision-making process. But recent information has revealed that the Yale Corporation had decided on the name of Benjamin Franklin College in the fall of 2013. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. More than 1,000 people congregated in front of Sterling Memorial Library with candles to denounce President Donald Trump's executive order on immigration. No hate, no fear, refugees are welcome here. Pop sensation JoJo and Canadian hip-hop artist Tori Lanez will co-headline Spring Fling 2017. How do you feel about this year's Spring Fling artists? I am so excited for JoJo. Can you give us a few bars of JoJo? I thought you'd never ask. Can somebody explain to me why everybody is trying to be living like a celebrity, doing what they see on MTV? Uh, come on, come on. Hey, hey, uh, uh. Hundreds of Yale students and New Haven residents gathered Saturday at Barnkey Plaza to join millions across the country in a series of women's marches. Together they made up the largest inaugural protest in American history. President Peter Salve announced to the Yale University community that Calhoun College will be renamed in honor of Grace Marie Hopper. The renaming decision comes after decades of controversy, which began when Calhoun College was established in 1933. The university announced a previously undisclosed decision to expand the physical size of the Schwarzman Center, rather than to just remodel the existing area. I think it's uh, very egotistical to want your name on a building until you die. A second quad flip attempt. The Good Life Center, a new space on campus devoted to student wellness, is set to open on September 17th in Silliman College. I'm Professor Lori Santos, a professor in psychology and cognitive science, and I'm excited that you're going to join me on this journey to learn a little bit about the science and also the practice of well-being. On Tuesday afternoon, more than 50 Yale alumni gathered outside the Yale Club of New York to protest the Supreme Court nomination of Yale College and Law School alum Brett Kavanaugh. Yale University and Yale Police Department can fire Terrence Hoback, and that's what we want. We're not going to be satisfied until we get that. It is not okay if those officers walk the street again and walk the beat again. God forbid they do that to someone else. Protesters came from several directions in the stadium and basically took a seat at midfield. Close to the end zone and caught. Touchdown for Yale. The ball game is over. Yale has won a share of the Ivy title. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not going to lie. I am once again asking for your financial support. Former Vice President Joe Biden appears to be one step closer to clinching 
the Democratic nomination. I was born by the river in a little tent. As we ready ourselves to step out onto new ground in this daunting yet inspiring liminal space of the unknown next, we begin a poignant turn of goodbyes and hellos. Let us go forth with deep trust that every one of us is welcome here, that love surrounds us, that beauty can surprise us, and that light and truth awaits us. Let us begin.